Hello, a fair bit of unstable air across the country. You could tell with the clouds bubbling up like cauliflowers with some showers and some thunder through the day. That all clears away. A quieter, slim ridge day tomorrow before another active trough moves in. It's going to be a busy week for some weather. Those dry spells make the most of them when you see them. All the details coming up right now. It's six o'clock. Colin Craig judged again a ruling on the sexual harassment claims by former press secretary Rachel McGregor. Thousands of junior doctors to go on strike. How will this affect hospitals around the country? And Trump under the pump as his tax details are leaked. He accuses Hillary Clinton of being unfaithful to her husband. I don't even think she's loyal to Bill. You want to know the truth. Why should she be, right? <laughs> Kia ora, good evening. We can now reveal the amount Colin Craig had to pay for breaking the confidentiality agreement with Rachel McGregor. The details had been suppressed. The former Conservative Party leader paid nearly $130,000 in damages plus costs seven months ago, believed to be the biggest ever for emotional harm. The breaches were, quote, deliberate, egregious and repeated, according to the Human Rights Review Tribunal report out just in the past hour. Last week, the multimillionaire was ordered to pay $1.27 million to Jordan Williams after losing a defamation case. Yvonne Tahana has more details and reaction. Colin Craig feeling the heat. Rachel, your press secretary leaving. Yeah. That's still a point of discussion out there. Um, do you want to, is there anything you can touch on there? What happened? We'll still want to know. This interview, one of several, where he breached the confidentiality of a sexual harassment case taken against him. I think resignations of any staff members, particularly two days out from election, always, is always annoying. The complainant has former press secretary, Rachel McGregor, and we learnt today she was awarded a record settlement by the Human Rights Tribunal for that breach. 128... ...amount on the stress and um, the anxiety and the reality of watching your life being played out in a, in a very public and humiliating way. Rachel McGregor and Colin Craig attended confidential mediation in May 2015. In June and July, Mr Craig breached the confidentiality in interviews and a pamphlet. Ms McGregor sought damages for harm at the Human Rights Review Tribunal in December 2015. The ruling was issued in May 2016. The judge in the case ruled the decision could not be made public because it could affect Mr Craig's chance at a fair trial. On Friday, he lost the defamation case to taxpayer union founder Jordan Williams to the tune of $1.27 million. Colin Craig told One News today his reputation came under such relentless attack he felt he had no choice but to defend himself. He went on to say he was disappointed the tribunal decision was so critical of him given the extreme and inexplicable circumstances he was in. The courts haven't heard the end of this saga. Colin Craig has already indicated he'll appeal the defamation ruling. Yvonne Tahana, One News. Thousands of junior doctors around the country will walk off the job for two days later this month. They're striking over long working hours, which doctors say is putting patients at risk. Andrew Morrison has more. That's children who may go without a bed, a warm house, new shoes and clothes, or who go hungry some days. Material deprivation is much worse for children than for any other age group in New Zealand. The Children's Commissioner says politicians should put politics aside and agree to reduce child poverty by 5 to 10 per cent next year. It is definitely achievable, we know from international data. All right, back here with school holidays more than halfway through. The rain's putting a dampener on activities for some. So with entertainment options often pricey, we have some advice on keeping occupied. Also, growing up behind bars, their mums are serving time, but these babies are marking their own milestones one step at a time. And bye-bye Canada. He certainly got the royal wave down, but there's still one thing this three-year-old prince just refuses to do. Welcome back. Heavy rain has flooded several businesses tonight in Waipukuro in central Hawke's Bay. Meanwhile, some Huntley residents have been forced from their homes after heavy rain caused flooding overnight. A number of slips on down to you... 8 by morning and cloud better, brighter skies for you tomorrow. What about some decent dry weather for the school holidays? Well, we've got some better news tomorrow, but keep that raincoat close by as well. All the details after sport. Thanks very much, Dan. The jail babies making a start to life behind bars. Coming up, it's been five years since mums could keep their babies with them until the age of two.
Plus, climbing all over one another to reach the top. The impressive feat that is really the ultimate display of teamwork. Welcome back. Taking a look at tonight's top stories now. It's been revealed the former Conservative Party leader Colin Craig paid nearly $130,000 to his former press secretary, Rachel McGregor, over a sexual harassment case. The breaches were deliberate and repeated, according to the Human Rights Review Tribunal report, which came out late this afternoon. After 10 months of negotiations, now more than 3,000 junior doctors have given up on talks and will walk off the job for 48 hours this month. Junior doctors are upset over the physical and mental toll that 12-day stretches and 16-hour shifts are taking. The father of Olivia Hope still wants to meet the man who killed her. And the man who would uh, serve as a sturdy base for the TVNZ team, <laughs> Andrew Savile, is here. Strong shoulders. Oh, yes, they are. Nicely is he with a fairy tale, Dream Weekend? Dream Weekend for most of us. Maybe not yourself, Melissa, but <laughs> most of us. Uh, sporting Bonanza, so where do we start tonight? Why not the Rugby League and the pulsating grand final in Sydney decided by millimetres? Oh, my God. That the best place I've ever had. Oh, that was so good. The emotional Cronulla Sharks, with plenty of Kiwi connections, break a 50-year drought. Plus, we go behind the scenes as Joe Parker and his parents meet to discuss his next boxing options. And America's golf drought is over. We have some of the interesting reactions from the Ryder Cup next. Yeah, it looks like his son is <laughs> just as good. Well, I'm, Not you, Melissa. We I'm like it. Yeah. St. Simon, we Simon like and I are the oldest on the floor yeah. here. Like are you Simon blushing, Andrew? <laughs> Deservedly so. Thank you very much. All right. We'll, pass it. we'll move on to the team from Seven Sharp now. Thank you very much. Us young'uns over here. Yeah, you young'uns, you wouldn't remember that. Bit of backyard oh. ingenuity, we love that stuff. Too. Oh, yes, Kiwi number eight wire. It's kind of our version of the Aquata, if you will. Yes, okay. tonight. Yes. <laughs> also still to come, what really happened to Ben Smart and Olivia Hope? The truth may never be known, but the will to know remains as strong now, if not stronger. Tonight, Olivia's dad opens up exclusively to Seven Sharp. Plus, we have Ali Golding's only TV interview, and Aaron's question line was interesting. Have you ever heard of shoot, shag, or marry? Yeah, I think I know the equivalent. Pick and marry out of these Ooh. two. And Tim tries to find out what makes the perfect boyfriend, but he wasn't expecting this response. Today is boyfriend day. <laughs> Where are You're the wrong girl. Whoa. This is my girlfriend. <laughs> All right, oh. <laughs> Seven. Code day. It's an indoor day. Going into the end of the week, you think, are we going to get rid of this? That's a pretty mean southwest. With watch for the risk for gales to the far north of the country, that all slowly clears its way through. And a little hint, maybe a ridge of something for the weekend, which might be slightly drier, getting all this out of the way. But there's about quite a few troughs and some active spring weather to come between now and then. So much to look forward to. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome Thank home. You. Uh, Thank that, you. That's it from us. But uh, Pepper and Tony are here with a very serious investigative piece that we must watch tonight. Oh, yes. How to be a good boyfriend. And I thought you would have gone to the girls for this, but apparently we've gone to a bloke that knows how to pull the women. And he's going to tell us <laughs> and all that's the Tim tips. Wilson. <laughs> uh, possibly yes. not. Tim. Keep watching. Here's the show tonight.